Sup guys, today on this episode of Engines of Guild Transit, I'll be talking about the F-59PH. Guild Transit is known for possibly being the reason passenger railroads today have locomotives or even rolling stock, such as the Bombardier Bi-Level. Over 10 commuter railroads have Bombardier Bi-Levels in some form. Other than that, some railroads have F-59PHs, most of which were once on Go Transit. But how did those come to be, and how did this locomotive even become a thing? The decade is the 1970s going into the 1980s. Go Transit used various different locomotives such as the GP40TC, the F Unit APCU, F40PH, and more. Go was pretty much stagnant until they chartered Hawker Sidley to make the brand new state of the art double deck passenger rail car, which would become the iconic Bombardier Bi Level. These cars were HEP powered, and thus Go had to use HEP equipped locomotives such as the F40PH or the F Unit APCU to supply power. An APCU is just like an NPCU that supplies power, like this Ontario Northland F40PH APCU. During this time, Go service expanded with increased ridership, new lines, and more. And thus, Go wanted a stronger locomotive to pull longer trains, and this would become the F-59PH. But Around this time of the 1980s, the US and Canada weren't doing free trade between each other, so it was difficult to produce locomotives and then export them to Canada. In hindsight, Go wanted EMD to make the F-59PH, but with this trade problem, EMD chartered General Motors to be a sort of Canadian EMD in the form of General Motors Division or GMD and make the locomotives for Canada. It wouldn't be until 1989 that both countries would make an agreement of free trade which then proceeded into the NAFTA trade agreement. Anyways, GMD would open a plant in London, Ontario. This is where the F-59PH and other locomotives would be produced, until it eventually closed down. The F-59PH was finally being made, and the first 15 F-59PHs were made in 1988. Go in total would receive 48 locomotives in the span of 4 batches. F-59PH 520 to 535 was delivered in 1988, 536 to 547 in 1989 to 1990, 548 to 561 in 1990, and finally 562 to 568 in 1994. The technical specifications of the F-59PH came as follows. It came at a length of 58 feet, 2 inches, a width of 10 feet, 3.5 inches, its height came at 15 feet, 7.5 inches, it had a weight of 260,000 pounds, and the F-59PH was powered by an EMD 12710G3A engine, which produced 3,000 horsepower. The F-59PH can hit speeds of 110 miles an hour, but were restricted to 83 miles an hour. Their purchase in 1988 marked the return of having a single unit having a separate HEP engine and generator, as opposed to a shaft-driven HEP system of what the F-40PH had. As well, there were GO's first units equipped with computerized systems, 
and thus allowed for a substantial increase in performance and reliability. This also began the creation of the F-59 PHI in 1994. The F-59 PHI is a fully enclosed streamlined variant of the F-59 PH. A total of 83 locomotives were built. GO's F-59 PHs did well until service cuts in the mid-90s. GO Transit retired and sold off a number of the then surplus locomotives and cars. The logic being GO would receive a higher return by selling off newer locomotives. Some went to Trinity Railway Express, some to AMT, now known as EXO, some went to leasing companies, some to Metrolink, and one to Metra, and more. The F-59 PHs remaining began to have problems necessitating a rebuild. Twice. Even then, despite having been rebuilt twice, and receiving upgraded HEP engines and generators, the units were becoming troublesome, with frequent failures necessitating a second unit being added to all weekend trains and restricting them to six-car trains for typical off-peak service. The first order of units, 520 to 535, were retired and sold off by April 2009, once all the first order of MP40 PHs 600 to 626 were in service. The second F-59 PH order and the majority of units in the third were retired when the MP-40 units 627 to 656 were delivered. Gradually over 2010, a number of remaining units received e-bells in place of their mechanical ones. Not all units received them in a timely manner. 564 did not receive it for a while. Plans to rebuild some of the existing units, again, were put through in 2010. By early 2011, 558 and 559 returned to service after an overhaul and repaint. All units from 557 to 564 were eventually rebuilt for continued service, with all the remaining units below 557 retired or sold. But don't get your hopes down yet, GO Transit still has 7 F-59 PHs scattered around the 7 GO Transit lines. And there are no plans for the retirement as GO actually now needs locomotives now for continued service expansion. Quite the karma situation there. But anyways, the F-59 PHs brought GO Transit out of the 20th century into the 21st. These locomotives still have some strength in them and have made a strong mark in the history book of GO Transit, the commuter railroad of Southern Ontario.